to Addition to the Wild, Saltwater and Freshwater Fishing. What's up, y'all? This your boy, this to the wild. What's up, y'all? Hey, um, did some fishing on like a damn one. You know, it, it was cool up there, though. You know, some people caught fish. My friend Dave caught fish, too. One problem we had, man, is like, I got an HD, HD camera. You know, um, when you at the night, when you at nighttime, it really don't film anything. So, we have video asking really in the end, though, what we couldn't show it because simple fact is it was too dark. So, you know, what we did is we showed him catching the fish. Caught total um, two nice catfishes and all that. One was like 15 pound, the other one like 13 pound catfish and all that stuff. So, you know, that's really good and all that. You know, um, the best time to fish it though, is like maybe like um, when, the, when the tide come high, if you want to fish the pier, but if you fish anywhere else on the rocks or whatever, low tide might be going good when the water going out, you know. But um, people out there, might get hung up out there too, man. Like especially if you're on the pier, and when you first coming in, you go straight to your right, right side of the pier. You might be careful because there's a lot of hangups up there. So my best advice, man, to when you don't fish, it will bring you a lot of hell of weights, though. You know what I'm saying? The best weights for us, what we use between three or four ounces and stuff. That's pretty good, though. It's depending how the water, if it's running really fast or whatever, though. So you know, and some people who using them small poles out there, man, like y'all need to get some thick catfish pole for real man because you know the um small poles man you can't even get your stuff out you even get tangled up with anything you get tangled with some some um wood line out there or something so um um you just need some thicker poles out there and the bait we like to use is like cut shad cut shad is good and live bluegill live bluegills work real good too if you want some some of them big um um catfish that's what um dave was using too out there live bluegills that's one of the good things People out there trying to use chicken liver, um, dough bait and all that, man. I kind of want food with it, man. It's just paying how that water is. Because usually in the, in the river up there, man, that water be um, moving kind of swift, man. So, you know, I won't be using that unless, like I said, unless you're wrapping in pantyhose real good. But otherwise, I would not use that, man, because that water is kind of moving fast a lot of times. So, I'm just giving you a, a word of advice on that. So, you know, but um, otherwise, man, it's a good area to fish, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on out though. I mean, basically this whole month and next month we're gonna be out there catfishing. And to the people who saw me out there, hey, what's up though? I love y'all out there though. When y'all see me, say hey, what's up? You're just to the wild. Yeah, I love that stuff though. But we out of here though. We're gonna ahead and put that footage on for y'all. Peace. All right, Dave, what's up, man? What you got going on over here? And you know how it is. Knocking down wood. First one of the night. Still early yet. Yeah, still early, but guess what? We having fun, though. Oh yeah, we having fun. That's why I was just grunting away. We uh, he's talking, telling his friends, I guess. But uh, you know. <laughs> so we doing some late late night um catfishing then. Yeah, we decided to pull a late night tonight. I think we're gonna stay down here for as long as we can, and uh, you know, see what happens. All right then, let's do it up. <laughs> 